why hanging on to a marriage for the kids can actually hurt them. Hi, I'm Bill Farias, founder of Farias Family Law, and I met with a woman a couple of weeks ago, and she's been married for about 10 years. She has two children, ages eight and six, and for the last five years, her marriage has been failing. So the way she describes it, she and her husband don't really talk. Uh, they sleep in separate bedrooms. There's a fair amount of arguing. Some of it is in front of the children. And when we talked about next steps, she was afraid to move forward because she didn't want to or doesn't want to disrupt the children. And this is a, a common sentiment. People who have children, especially young ones, don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to do anything that's going to result in significant change because they're afraid of how it will affect the children. But here is something to keep in mind. You want to ask yourself whether the environment that you're living in and specifically the dynamics of your relationship with your spouse is something that you want your children to learn is normal. So in other words, do you want your, your kids growing up believing that a household devoid of love and affection and respect and communication and joy, do you want them to think that those items not being present is normal? And do you want them thinking that if they are involved in a relationship like that, that that's normal and acceptable and healthy? And the answer to that is, it depends on what's going on in the home, but clearly under these circumstances where the parents are barely communicating, sleeping in separate rooms, there's conflict, that is not the type of environment you want your kids growing up in. So how should we think about this? I think the best way to approach this is you have to ask yourself, is this marriage salvageable? Can I fix this? And to get the answer to that, number one, you have to figure out whether either party needs some help individually. Sometimes there's a mental health issue. Sometimes there is a substance abuse issue. Sometimes both parties would benefit from some individual counseling to get to the root of individual issues that may be affecting the relationship. So marital counseling is helpful and I do recommend it to um, help patch up or address the issues that led to the breakdown in a relationship. But first you have the individual issues that you have to deal with. And this is a very tricky subject because no one is going to, or not many people, are receptive to hearing from their spouse, hey, there are some issues you need to work on. But number one, you have to ask yourself, is there anything I need to work on that's getting in the way of my marriage? And you also have to have that conversation with your spouse so that um, if there are individual issues, those are being addressed by one or both. And then to supplement that, you may need some marital counseling to work on those issues that led to the breakdown. And the way to think about this is, if either party is either unwilling to work on these issues, not interested in working on these issues, or if the marriage is just not fixable, then you have to move on. So in other words, don't just do nothing. That's not acceptable. You have to either get to working on your individual issues in your marriage and try to fix it, or you need to move on and start planning the next steps so that you can have a, a fresh start. It is not acceptable to continue to live in an environment uh, where there's conflict, where there isn't communication, when there isn't, where there isn't love because you're teaching your children that that's normal and that is not healthy. So when you're thinking about hanging in there um, in your marriage for your children, ask yourself, is this really helping them? If you have any other questions, you can call us at 508-675-0464. You can email us at info at If you found this video helpful, 
You can subscribe to our channel and share it with anyone you think might benefit from it. And you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Farious Family Law. Thank you. Have a good day.